everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Greenwich Valley here on Farming Simulate 19. This is vlog number two. And um, before we get going, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody that watched the first episode. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be back for as long as uh, I can basically. So hopefully that's for an, in an infinite amount of time, but we'll see. Um, also, before we get going, my in-cab camera, GoPro, the wheel cam, is blinking. And I do not know why. Um, nothing I can see that's wrong with it. Maybe change USB ports next time, but at least it's still there. It's not that distracting. At least it's not the actual main game. Um, worst case scenario, I just remove the wheel cam next time. Um, otherwise, the microphone should be working. Uh, so in episode number one, I can't speak. I'm speaking too quickly. In episode number one, uh, the microphone was distorting. That was because I had it turned up too much. That was all it was. Um, so it was clipping, basically. Yeah, I had the microphone turned up too loud. So hopefully it sounds a lot better this time. I'm going to make it uh, a bit clearer in production as well. There was a blink on the camera. I saw that then. Um, so actually, welcome back. Like I said, so we are in the John Deere today. A lot of you guys saw this in episode number one. We didn't use this in episode number one, but you guys saw it. We're finally using it today because we had to bring down from our cattle farm our manure spreader. Here we go. It could do with a clean. It's a bit dirty. Um... So as you can probably guess, we've got a couple of tasks to do today. Task number one, oops, something's loading in. Uh, task number one is to fill this thing up with manure and to chuck it down on our field here. There's our tell you how to go. We're not going to use a class today. The reason we're using this is one, it's quite a beefy tractor. I could have used the New Holland, but uh, I just wanted to dust this thing off. Seems we had to drive down from the uh, cattle farm anyway. Instead of driving the New Holland to the cattle farm and back again, I thought we'd just uh, kill bird, two birds with one stone and use the John Deere. So, yeah, that's happening. This is the one that Billy Bob done. It's a bit wonky. The field we're actually doing today is the one that I done myself. Um, but we had some manure delivered from a neighbouring farm, so that's nice of them. Cost us a bit of money, but nothing too drastic. There it is. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and park this thing up here. Wow, it's 20 past 5. It's already sunset by the look of it. Right, let's get that turned off because we're going to be a few minutes here. Cool, so there's our manure pot. We haven't got too much, but it's more than we had to begin with. So let's go ahead and jump into the JCB right now. We are going to put the bucket on. Now, this is going to be quite a tedious task. And the reason for that is because our tally handler, for some reason, supports uh, front loader attachments instead of wheel, uh, tally handler attachments. So the bucket we've got is pretty small. There's our uh, combine there. Normal size, a little bit of a sarcastic protection cover we've got on the front of that. Most of them say wide load, so we had a normal size one. Uh, let's jump into this. Let's get it turned on. She started off straight away. Good. Okay, so we don't actually need anything in this shed today. I do wish this thing was uh, four-wheel steering. I'm not sure if the big, uh, bigger model is. It's tight limbs like that. We have to do like a three-point turn. Oh, why does it do that? Sometimes it does not go into forward. I'm beginning to wonder if I have to stop fully before I can put it into forward. But it only seems to be with the wheel. Alright, let's go ahead and collect our bucket. Now, this bucket... Uh, sorry, no, sorry, this... Not the bucket. This front loader. Or the boom, I should say. That's as low as it goes, which is a little bit annoying sometimes. Um, can I extend it? Oh, there we go. We fixed it. We had a bit of a uh, control issue there in the cab. Managed to fix it. Just a fuse, luckily. Right, let's go ahead. Oh, this colour is really putting me off. It feels like it's about 8 o'clock in the evening, but it's not. It's only 20 past 4. Um, right, let's see if we can hook this thing up like so. Yeah, she's locked in pretty good. We can uh, contract that back there. Yeah, there we go. So we've managed to fix that. Just a fuse. Which is strange because it's hydraulic. Don't know why I said that. <laughs> but how are you guys doing? Welcome back. Uh, like I said, we are re well. I'm really enjoying this this uh, map at the moment. So this is of course 1.1. This will be out very soon, I believe. It's in testing with giants, I believe. Green Bale said. Um, so you hope you guys will be able to play seasons properly soon as well. If it was really dark, wow. And we're on times one speed as well. Anyway, let's jump back into it. I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, it's gonna be quite a painful, tedious task today because we have such a small bucket. Um. We'll get the job done eventually. Right, let's get that loaded in. Luckily, like I said, we did fix the uh, hydraulic. I don't know why I said fuse. I was meant to say hydraulic. Um, 
I thought we were going to be alright there. I believe it's going in. There we go. Get a camera put up there so you guys can see a bit better. Right, let's retract this thing back in again. Cool. See, so yeah, the one thing about this farm is we don't really have a dedicated place for manure. I didn't want to go ahead and uh, contaminate. Not really contamination, there's only manure, but I didn't really want to dump it in a shed. Um, so we just had them dump it right here in this field. So we are going to be doing all fields when we can get more manure. But today our main focus is going to be field 32, which is not the one we're in right now. It's actually the one behind us. Uh, the one that I ploughed myself. Let's get that taken down. So here's what I'm going to do for a bit of fun. A bit of trivia. For those of you that have been subscribed to me for a long time, let me know in the comment section down below. What is my favourite thing to do? in farm sim. Is it A, plowing, B, harvesting, or C, front loader work? Let me know. See how many people have been subscribed for a while. One of those things I absolutely hate. So bonus points tell me which one I hate. So is it A, plowing, B, harvesting, or C, uh, front loader work? Which one do I hate? Which one do I love? It's not a trick question. One of them I absolutely despise. The other one I love doing. I find it so relaxing, but... Yeah, let me know. We're going to go ahead and fill this thing up. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Let's get this filled up, and uh, we'll do our first load, shall we? Right, so that is our first load now done. Let's go ahead and retract this. By the way, do you like our homemade extension on the uh, manure spreader? A couple of planks of wood. Gets us a little bit more capacity, which should save us a bit of time on the uh, the old refill. Let's go ahead and move this out the way a second. We should have got stuck in one of the, uh, the furrows then. Found it hard to turn. Right, let's go ahead and park this thing here for a second. Get the boom taken down. Handbrake, oh, handbrake on. Put the turn that four wheel drive off as well while we're here. Right, we'll jump back into John Deere. We are losing sunlight very quickly. In fact, where is the sun? There's the moon up there. Why is. Maybe that is. Is that the sun? It looks like the sun should be just behind those hills, which makes no sense why the moon would also be there, because they're not like that in real life. Right. Go ahead and get this thing turned up. We do have green star installed on this tractor as well. You can see it on top of the roof there. We don't need it today. Oh, could we use it today? We could use it today. We could actually use it today. Let's have a think. Do we want to use green star? Hmm. I haven't programmed it yet though, so we'd have to program in it here. I don't think we need it. Not today. If I do such a bad job, let me know in the comment section. If I, my if my manure spreading skills are all that bad, let me know in the comment section, and then next time we'll use green star. Um, yeah, we'll do the head them last once again. So this is two fertilizing episodes in one go. I do know that, but this is, of course, spring. We haven't really got much to do in spring, unfortunately. So I'm looking forward to winter. Winter's going to be the big one. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and jump out a second. I'm going to make sure we've got everything connected properly. Um, p is definitely in. Hydraulics in. Cool. And let's uh, work away, shall we? Why won't you stay on? I think our spreader might be broken. Oh, come on now. We might have to get Billy Bob and the mechanic down here to look at this. For some reason, it doesn't want to turn over. Why is this? Oh, I know why. Hang on a minute. Let's go ahead and... Reset them one more time. Like so. There we go. There we go. That wasn't opening for some reason. Right, let's try that again, shall we? There, that's more like it. That's more like it. See, for some reason the hatch didn't want to open. Jammed or just wasn't getting enough power, wasn't plugged in properly. I don't know. Seems to be working anyway. Let's go ahead and get the drone up in the sky so you guys can see something a bit more interesting than just uh, the steering wheel of the John Deere. Even though John Deere steering wheels are pretty pretty good looking. I quite like them. But yeah, no idea what happened there. The hatch didn't want to open for some reason. 
Right, now I might skip a pass. In fact, I think I'm going to skip a pass. Let's go ahead and use the Brody knob. Might be a bit easier. So I do need to um, fertilize some of our grass fields, though. That is not a proper pass I missed there. I was not paying attention. I was too busy looking at the uh, the GoPro screen. Um, yeah, we do need to go ahead and throw some nitrogen down on our grass fields. Don't know if I'm going to do that on camera, because that'll be like three, uh, three fertilizer episodes in one go, which I don't want to bore you guys with too much. Um, let me know what tasks, by the way, you're looking forward to seeing in the comment section as well. So I can uh, make sure I get that recorded for you. Let's go ahead and stop here. Like I said, we're going to do the headland at the end. We're going to crash into that hedge. Yes. Yes, we are. This turning circle is awful. Love the sound of this thing, though. Alright, let's get back to the drone. I think I've made my mind up. I think, I think we'll use GPS next time. Because I am not missing a whole pass in between there. In fact, what I'm doing is wasting manure, effectively. So, um, yeah, we'll use GPS next time. I'm not very good at putting invisible lines, if that makes sense. Like, I can't imagine in my head the gap, if that makes sense. Try it this way. We'll try it again. Let's see if I can do better this time. I'm still warming up. Still warming up. Let's go along here. I reckon about here. Is that any better? No. Let's just close the gap. Stop it. We're not going to miss a pass. Well, we're just going to link them up. I'm not bad at doing it this way. But the other way, I absolutely suck. Feel free to let me know in the comment section. <laughs> Tell me in the comment section, because I know. All right, let's get that turned off. We don't want to waste any. Let's go back in cab a second. Let's get her turned around. I'm not too worried if we lose a bit of manure onto the grass. Uh, should be a bit of nourishment for the grass as well, why not? We're going to be needing uh, as much grass as we can in the future anyway, because, like I said, we're going to be getting cows. But all the uh, excess grass, like the weird places, like if I do, if I mow the outside of this field, for example. this Why am I following this line? What was I going to say? Oh yeah, we're going to get sheep as well. So the sheep can have all like the miscellaneous grass. So if I'm mowing the edge of my field, for example, the sheep can have that. Um... I'm going to go straight again. We're going to try and straighten our passes up again. Because I've made a right pig's mess of this. Or cow's mess, you should say. Oh, dear. I'm getting to that age where I start making puns. Please help. Right, stop over there. Um, get turned around like that. So, like I said, we're going to do the headland at the end. I'm wasting quite a bit of manure here. In fact, I'm not even going to... What we're going to do is ignore that pass there. Because I want to do a full pass. We've only got... About 472 litres left in the extra trailer itself. So we're going to go ahead and fill up again. Total, we all use this 2% on though. We'll go around here. Is that going to fill up? Yes. That 2% that lasted a bit longer than I thought it was going to, if I'm being honest. Right, let's fill up again, shall we? So I have no idea what we're planting there yet. I would like to do spuds, but the actual harvesting, we'd either have to get a contractor in or rent equipment. Um, either way, it sounds like a big money loss to me, so we might just throw down some cereal. Let me know what you guys think. We can run this farm together. Um, I'll keep the engine running. What I'm going to do, though, so it doesn't fall out the back, is close the back hatch. It's actually working again. Good. Right, let's jump. that was an awful uh, positioning of that bucket. Oops. Let's jump back into the uh, JCB. Like so. Handbrake off. Right, let's continue getting it filled up, shall we? Scoop her up. Um, oh, we'll we do have another task to do today, don't worry, this is not all we're doing today. Do have another task to do in a second. In fact, what I do want to do is get a thumbnail, so bear with me. All right, we're back. Ooh, we've actually still got some in the bucket. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, I took a lot of uh, pictures and a lot of screenshots. Turns out it's really hard to get a good screenshot in this lighting. So, probably comes all right. You guys know, because you'll be, uh, you'd have seen it by now, because you would have clicked on it, I assume. Unless you're one of the bell gang, and then you just had the uh, the title appear in your notification box. Right, let's 
carry on with this, shall we? Let's get this lower down. Put her into forwards. Stop blinking on the uh, the wheel cams. Really annoy me. I'll try and fix that. I got one problem fixed from episode number one. And that was the microphone. So hopefully the microphone's fine now. Let's get that taken up like this. Let's get her loaded up into there. I feel like the bucket could hold more, you know. Like, it's not very full, but it's on 99%. Anyway, let's crack on with this. We'll get, uh, hopefully that fill bar will be done now. We just got the headland and the idiotic bits that I missed to do. And then we'll crack on with our second task. Let's do one more. Let's do one more on camera, why not? Get into forwards. It's actually pretty quick to do this. I just wish we had a slightly bigger bucket. I wish this um, teddy handler, which I'm beginning to think is more of a front loader than a teddy handler. Um, it's more of a teddy loader, technically, isn't it? You could call it a teddy loader. Anyway, let's crack on with this. Right. That is another load done. Oh, I did turn it off, didn't I? Yes, I did. Cool. Let's go ahead and shimmy around here. So, yeah. I think I'll use GPS next time. Seeing as the tractor has a green star, why not use it, Simulate? Why not use it? Because that was a massive way. In fact, we're about to waste loads of manure. Did I close the back? I did, didn't I? Let's get it open again. Let's go ahead and get the hand throttle on. Cool. Uh, speaking of hand throttle, I'm tempted to get my joystick out and use, well, my throttle quadrant at least, and use it. Oh, no, because I have to use both. I don't know. I actually have a, uh, a thing I could use as a hand throttle, but unfortunately I have to use my joystick as well, which is huge. Um, we'll see. But yeah, this is a massive waste of manure. I do apologize for the OCD farmers or virtual farmers watching this. Oh well, we've got another pass up there, so we'll go ahead and do that. Let's get her turned off here. That looks like an inappropriate shape. Oh, this could probably be covered by the headland. We're not going to kiss the side. The uh, Actually, we are doing this. This is pretty much the headland. Okay, we're going to go straight to the headland from here. We've got a little bit there to do, which I didn't do the first time because of the masts in the way. We'll catch that bit at the end. I'll tell you another reason. Excuse time. I'll tell you another reason I'm really bad at this. Is because I am so used to. Because only in FS15, 17, the only ones I really used to use was the uh, the side. The side manure spreaders, whatever you... What's the technical name for them? Let me know below. The ones where it flicks out the side. I'm so used to them that this one's a bit... A bit strange. Because of course then you just drive up the side of what you've just done sort of thing. So... Oh well. Yeah, I'm so used to the side flinging ones that that's why I call them personally side flingers. I'm so used to the side flingers that this is just a bit alien to me. It looks like we do have a little bit of manure left in the pile for a small field, maybe. I mean, we've used just over half of the pile, I'd say, so we won't be able to do anything big fields. I don't think this is the smallest field we own, by the way. So maybe I could put it down. Maybe I could put it in the grass field. I haven't looked into that yet. All right, let's get this little bit here done. I was avoiding this part because of the mast, but... Mast? Mast. Is it mast or mast? Oh my, uh, brain's gone blank. Whatever it is, it's now covered in cow dung dung. Right, so we're on the last little bit here now. The last bit of headland. I'm hope... Oh, we got three percent. We're not going to have enough to do it. We're going to have to fill this up just to do a little bit. And we're out. God dang it. Literally, we just had to go from there to here. Well, that's annoying. Maybe I only need one or two buckets. Of, I don't know. Either way. See, so yeah, I'm going to not. There's no point in watching me do that little bit that we have left. So what I'm going to do is fill this up. A little, well, probably do a couple of buckets in here, and then we'll crack on with our next task today. I think. Well, what's left of daylight? What time's it now? Quarter to four. Where's the sun? Maybe that is the sun. It just the lighting doesn't add up to it. Yeah, that is the sun, because it's look at the puddle there on the ground. Strange. Strange, strange, strange. Anyway, yeah, I'll finish this field, and we'll get back to it. Right, so there's been a slight change of plan. So the other task we had to do is actually quite an interesting one, so I'm going to make a separate video about that. Um, I think it'll be quite good viewing for you guys in a different separate video. So what we're going to do instead is... 
how much trick have we got left? That's probably about a tr at least two trailers, I'd say. Although it's gone down quite a bit. It was all the way out here, as you can see. So we've managed to hack away at it pretty good. In fact, we've got more than I thought we did. Um, we might even have enough for this field here. Maybe. It's not as big as it looks. It's up to that hedge there, but it doesn't go far back. Anyway, we'll jump into this. So what we're going to do instead is make a start on actually getting some stuff in the ground real quick. So we've got to go ahead and take this crappy bucket off. In fact, what I'm going to do is take the bucket off here. See as we're going to be using it again off camera or maybe on the stream. Who knows? Let's get that disconnected. Does manual touch work with this? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Dang it. Let's get that taken off. Um, we'll use our class. Yeah, we'll use the class. Because our new Holland is still hooked up to the plow. From uh, when I did this a second earlier on. Well, I was about to say a second ago. One, it's probably a couple hours ago now. It's just, you can see the roof of it there. Um, we need to get a jet wash. I'm thinking I'm going to put the jet wash down here somewhere. Because that's basically, if I'll quickly go down and show you. It saves me walking down. This thing's really slow. So I need to give the, uh, the plow a wash. Um... Save it going rusty. Make it last a little bit longer, hopefully. Probably take the front weight off that thing as well. But yeah, we're going to use the class today. Let's get this thing put in forwards. Um, I think I left the fork in here. Yes, I did. Um, so we do have some seeds. However, we already had some in stock when we took over the farm. So I think we'll use them first. I personally don't like using that style of uh, pallet or bag. Why is that pointing downwards? Right, let's get this moved out of the way here. Uh, we'll keep it running. Get the handbrake on, though. Hopefully the class... This is our brand new... If you missed episode number one, this is our brand new tractor. That's why it looks so clean. It literally got delivered yesterday. Well, in fact, it was actually today. But for you guys, it would have been the previous episode. Let's get the handbrake off. Now, our seed drill was actually right there. I think I may have parked the teddy hander in the worst possible place because I forgot where the uh, drill was. Right, let's reverse up into here. Is that about right? Can't quite see over there. I need to make my uh, back and forward a bit, a bit more on the uh, head tracking. Let's get that hooked up. Bring her in. Does this have no hoses? Do we have no hoses on this thing? It's got lights though, isn't it? I'm now stuck behind the wall. This is... Yeah, we have lights. So I'm a bit shocked that there's no cables to connect. I don't know. Oh well. Right, let's get her into forward. I'm gonna pull her out of the shed here so the telehandler can maneuver properly. Are we gonna be able to get around it without hitting? Yes, we are. Cool. Yeah, I'm very surprised there's no cables to connect on this thing, if I'm being honest. Let's get the cover off. We'll keep her warming up. Let's get the handbrake on. Yeah, we'll leave the class... Class? We'll leave the class warming up. Let's jump back in to the JCB. Like I said, we're going to use the pallets that we got with the farm, first of all, because I don't like them. I don't like that style. So we'll use them. Get them out of the way, then we can start using our actual bags. Um, here they are. This thing's kind of hard to drive, to be honest. I'm so used to having my telehandlers with four wheel steering that this thing just sort of confuses me. It always feels like we're crabbing, if that makes sense. It's hard to explain. But anyway, we are at zero here. In fact, this thing might be positioned perfectly for pallets. Do you know what I said earlier on? It doesn't touch the ground properly? No. I was going to say that might work to our advantage, but definitely, definitely not. All right, let's get that done like that. We'll lift it up a smudge. Great, let's see how we do here. So it's gone on easy. Cool. How many bags do you reckon that drill's going to take? One or two? I reckon it's going to be one in a bit, personally. I can't remember the capacity. There's obviously a thousand litres of seeds in here, but I can't remember how much it holds. I think it might be 2,500, actually, come to think of it. Right, let's get it lifted up over here. Let's get that extended out. There we go. So breaking the roleplay a second. I know I've said this before, but for those of you that haven't heard it, 
In FS15, so going back a while now, there was a big bag mod where you actually had to slice open the bottom of the bag yourself. That was really cool. I missed that mod. Obviously, we still have big bags today, but we can't uh, slice the bottom open ourselves, which is only a small th issue. Not an issue, but it's only a small thing. It's perfect preference, basically. Right, let's get that put down to zero degrees. Right, there we go. Get it back to zero. So we should be hovering just above the ground now. Soon find out if it starts budging forward, it means we're too low. Yes, we are too low. Or we're too high. We're actually too high. What has happened here is I haven't actually extended the boom far enough. Right, there we go. Let's get lifted up. Cool. We're going to actually jump in and see how full we are. Because I don't think we're going to need that much seeds. In fact, change plan again. Just on the spot. We're going to go ahead and make this our last bag. Because I don't think we're going to be needing that much. So this is... Uh, are we in the right mode? Yes. This is canola in here. So we're going to be planting canola on our first field. Is that unloading? Yes, it is. Should I do it? So we are going to be using GPS for the seeding. Because seeds are like gold to us. We don't want to waste seeds when we don't have to. Let's get this thing out of here out of the... Uh, just in case it rains. Right, handbrake on. Get it turned off. I've really need to do something with that workshop. Workshop's seen better days. It's all rusty. Let's see how full we are, shall we? Should tell us on the in-cab in computer. 64. Okay, let's get the cover put back on. Uh, we... Oats, canola. I always forget we've got oats. But this is canola in here. Right, get the handbrake off. She's coming with us. Make sure we don't clip the gate. Good. Let's go along here. So we don't need to cultivate. Luckily, this uh, drill has built-in cultivator. Or well, we cultivate it at the same time, I should say. Let's go ahead and get ourselves down hither. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and set up the boring stuff. Because you guys don't want to see that. I'm assuming. But well, in the meantime, let's get this unfolded here. Um, right. Right, okay, so the boring bits are now done. We now have the, uh, the track put into our computer. Let's get... Oh, the four-wheel drive is on. That's boring. I'm struggling. Seem to be struggling a bit. Um, right, let's get that turned on. We will lower the drill. Make sure we've got canola on the way. Yes, we do. I want to make a start on this. No hands. Oh, it's bumpy. Maybe it's a class that bum that's bumpy. I remember saying that road we were on the other day was bumpy. I didn't have this sort of bumpiness... In the New Holland, mind you, it was, wasn't ploughed then, was it? We were ploughing as we went along, so... That door's open. Nice bit of fresh air coming in. Can we close that? No, we can. I didn't actually realise that. Oh well. Alright, so this is the first bit of seed going into the ground now. Stop. First bit of seed going into the ground now. What we're going to do is get that lifted up. So yeah, the reason I'm doing this now and changing my mind to the other one is because the other task is quite interesting. This one is, well, you guys have seen drilling before, I assume. Um, I don't want to bore you guys with a drilling video. God, that does not sound interesting at all. <laughs> right, we'll crack on with this. This is the second one. We're skipping passes just so we don't have to do like a weird three-point turn thing at the end. This is how I like doing it. This is how I see the tractors do it around me. The other, like, the real farmers do it around me. So this is the way I'm going to do it. We do the headland last. It's quite a square field to be fair. It's L-shaped, but it's quite squared, so it should be too difficult. But anyway, it's getting night time, so I'm going to probably be working through the night. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and call it here on today's vlog. It's getting quite dark, as you can see, so next time we pick up will be probably the morning. But thank you very much for joining me. If you guys did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more for myself. I might upload this as a bonus video. Who knows? I don't know yet. Um, like the actual drilling. Who knows? But yeah, if you did enjoy, please hit a thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. Hit subscribe to see more for myself. 
I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.